Hi, welcome to the next channel. So last night and uh, today I was uh, discussing uh, with my abroad student about a custom uh, transport layer protocol. Uh, so we are uh, discussing about uh, the registration of uh, you know IPv4 so TCP UDP stuff. So I thought uh, let me also discuss uh, in a video episode in case if you are uh, following my <laughs> networking videos and if you work uh, in a network uh, you know data com domain and uh, stuff like that. So. So it's an interesting discussion and coincidentally I was also working on a space research and we are developing some, I mean not with the student, with some client. So we are developing some custom, you know, transport layer protocol. And long before that, I was also experimenting with AC, uh, ACTP protocol, which is uh, another alternate of UDP and TCP. So ACTP, the objective is it combines kind of both features of tcp and udp so it's kind of uh, you know been discussed as uh, it can replace tcp and other stuff but it never happened because we have this uh, you know compatibility stuff you cannot change something which works in internet uh, just overnight to something new because you need to change all the routers and everything in between okay of course routers don't uh, you know uh, bother it's a tcp or udp uh, you know <laughs> packets or sctp it can essentially forward any transport layer okay because it works in layer 3 not layer 4 but having said if you think about the firewall devices and other uh, ids ips devices and stuff like that of course they do uh, uh, work on all layers it will uh, uh, it will uh, you know scan the packets in all layers across all the layers down to application layers so these are the devices we can classify as uh, L7 devices <laughs> and uh, you know they do uh, you know they do scan uh, the data across all the layers so in general so this is what so it's an interesting uh, stuff uh, if you notice always uh, network layer and transport layer uh, come hand in hand any suit protocol suit which will be you know developed uh, and uh, if it is a network layer transport layer it will be you know offered as a you know single offering so although the ipv4 is quite uh, you know popular much before that uh, there are other alternate uh, protocol suits are available you have ips xpx and uh, there are several other suits are available okay so other than that you can also see uh, in the linux kernel code see we take the kernel as an example so you can go to the net folder so in the linux uh, networking subsystem you have this uh, v4 and v6 uh, modules so if you explore here okay so you get you know majority of the code for uh, you know ip layer which is the network uh, part to network layer part and other than that you have this uh, transport layer part and uh, you can see here there is fair amount of code for tcp and uh, some code for udp and of course uh, you will have that icmp and uh, stuff you can see here arp and icmp somewhere here and uh, okay so that's what so this is what comprises the main uh, ipv4 stack okay so you can see in the case of tcp it is quite you know uh, bloated it has more files and more modules more apis because it has to handle this uh, you know uh, uh, the state level uh, you know connection stuff uh, tcp is both uh, you know state full protocol and as well as connection oriented protocol by offering the state so of course you will have a lot of code and also it has to manage this packet ordering buffering and all that stuff again you will have a lot of code to hold the packets if it is coming in out of order and stuff and it will chain the order and then push it pushes it uh, towards the upper layers in case these packets are destined to the end device okay so this is not going to happen in a router because the router doesn't care whichever uh, order the packet comes it its job is to just forward the packets having said it just works like a layer to network switch but the router does routing on uh, you know v4 headers okay so this is what so which is why you have all this code you can see here all these are uh, tcp you know congestion control algorithms plus you have other parts of tcp code okay so below that you can see here you have this uh, udp code it is fairly small you don't have much in the udp part so sorry about the noise outside they are doing some carpentry work today okay 
so this is what it is and uh, if you go in the v6 okay although we don't much work on v6 you can see again some similar stuff happens uh, i'm really not sure about uh, the v6 uh, of transport layer part is it reusing that uh, you know modules or something i'm really not sure i'm not much explored i have explored uh, the v6 of ip part so i know the source flow of some of these files but i don't uh, really don't know about uh, what is exactly happening over here i still suspect it is using those existing transport layer modules because the transport layer it doesn't much you know matter which you know uh, which is the underneath uh, network layer in this case it's since it's a part of ip you know stack okay let it be v4 or v6 it is just going to be the same okay you have the tcp now on top of v6 versus the tcp on top of v4 okay so I don't think so. This needs even much of transport code. Okay, it just needs some type of registration so that it may use that. So this is my rough guess. And if I am wrong, then you know I may be wrong. Okay, so so that way you go back and uh, you should able to see uh, inside this IPv4 folder you have this interesting AF INET file. Okay. This is an interesting file. The reason is this is where uh, the registration happens. Okay, this is where the registration of this uh, transport layer, uh, you know, protocol uh, protocols are being done. Okay, so you go here and you can search uh, something like TCP or something like that, and uh, hopefully we should be able to get any documentation and implementation of TCP/IP protocol suite for Linux uh, operating system. This is just a generic, uh, you know, comment which you will find across almost all files inside this IPv4 folder. Okay, so we go down and we see any register APIs are there. Okay, there is should be a protocol register API should be there. and uh, we just go down and we see anything like that it is yes uh, you can see here i got the place so, so you can see it is the same file i was kind of confused uh, i was checking also this older version of linux kernel to just make sure uh, am i in the right you know track because sometimes if they change uh, any source code if they reorganize or restructure sometimes suddenly this uh, intended stuff will be not here okay see you can see here if this is where you know all these uh, protocols are registered Uh, you can see here uh, for sock stream you have this ip proto tcp and you have this stuff and you have all this ops uh, you know this thing uh, function call registration here it is there and you can go up and you can see this uh, proto ops struct and for each uh, you know um, operation you have a specific function which is uh, you know registered over here so that way you can see here uh, you have this udp udp ops is uh, registered over here and you have this um, icmp and you have this raw socket and stuff and for sock stream you have this tcp so that way you can see here inet stream ops so you can go up and you should able to see this stream ops and you have all this stuff so this way it is registered so in case if you want to add any new protocol or something probably you need to attach over here so that you get that you know functionality and then further in that uh, you know dot c file of that uh, you know transport layer protocol for those corresponding uh, operations you can start populating your code so that way you can add that functionality whenever something comes and what to be done and uh, stuff like that see this is uh, much you know uh, core or internal of how the tcp itself is registered so this is not much to do with the socket stuff the socket stuff happens and from where uh, from there it should be translated to the protocol level operation so this is where we are inside very deep inside the you know tcp registration itself so we are far away from the sockets of kernel part whenever you you know think about socket see understand there are two parts in sockets you have the kernel side the socket implementation so it picks that uh, whatever data is given and then it does you know push us to that uh, you know lower level apis and eventually to the device drivers and stuff so you have the sockets which is that uppermost part of the linux kernel networking subsystem and and then you have the sockets which is the user space sockets which effectively translate whatever you put in socket apis to system calls and pushes it 
to the kernel so that's what the user space socket libraries uh, does okay so that's what so this is where uh, you know the registration happens uh, and you can further explore uh, these apis so we pick one of these as example see we have this uh, uh, let's ignore this socket rock let's come to this uh, datagram and uh, we can see here udp pool and stuff you can click there and it should point out to this udp.c file so this is of the hierarchy you see this implementation is in this file ipv4 udp.c and uh, it's been registered the callback have been registered over here okay so same way you come up you have this uh, tcp pool you click there and uh, you can see here it is actually pointing to this file and you can see the implementation over uh, here okay so that's what so overall that protocol is registered here and when you do this uh, you know kernel uh, uh, make config or something if you add any extra options it, sh it should have these things uh, added uh, in case if you enable that in you know kernel uh, make config and stuff okay so that's what so this way this uh, transport layer protocols are registered you need to further explore for other uh, you know uh, functionality you can also explore uh, these other you know network layer as well okay so at this moment i kind of lost track uh, i have written somewhere uh, that you know where exactly it registered even this uh, you know network part as well so somewhere you can explore core or somewhere because network is somewhere you know in this uh, you know it, it should do this uh, packet classification so it comes somewhere over here okay so the network layer comes it should effectively come somewhere here okay so so most probably somewhere they may do here and it should point to that uh, ipv4 folder okay so this is what so in case if you are working on <laughs> any of this kind of uh, stuff uh, uh, you know be in touch via email or uh, post your queries in uh, youtube comments once again i'm saying you my videos uh, may be long but i like to take more like a podcast rather than sitting and taking some five minute uh, videos before that i rehearse myself and all it is never going to happen i never generally rehearse my videos i i tend to you know have my own loop i work with my clients i work with uh, i work also conduct sessions with my students whenever i find anything which is interesting and then i take a small slice of it and i share across uh, you know these videos uh, whatever i you know want to share as a part of that experience so this is what linux channel is all about it's more like a uh, you know it's more like a journal rather than you know strictly boring educational channel alone okay so take it that way have any questions on this regard you know be in touch via mail or post your queries in youtube comments thanks a lot for joining me stay tuned have a nice day bye bye